Welcome to Talking Money with Nozi, Personal Finance Made Simple. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to invest in gold. Please remember that my videos are for information and entertainment purposes only, and I'm not meant to be taken as financial advice. So one of the reasons why people invest in gold is that gold acts as a protection against inflation. So when the value of a currency goes down, the price of gold usually goes up. Other people buy gold purely for the price movement because gold tends to go up in value when other investments like stocks and bonds are going down. Another reason why people invest in gold is for protection against economic collapse because it is believed that gold will keep its value even if any economy totally collapses. So that's why people who are worried about the stability of an economy invest in gold. There are three ways of investing in gold. You can buy physical gold, gold mining shares, or gold ETFs. Let's talk about each of these three methods of investing in gold. First, let's start with physical gold. There are two ways of investing in physical gold. The first way is by investing in Krugerrands. Krugerrands are South African gold coins that are issued by the South African Reserve Bank. Krugerrands are an ounce of gold, which is about 30 grams, and their price is related to the global price of gold. So Krugerrands do not have a fixed value, like a 50 cent coin or a one rand coin. Instead, Krugerrands are worth whatever the value of gold is at the time of buying them. You can buy Krugerrands at SA Bullion or through a bank like FNB, for example. Okay, so how do you invest in Krugerrands with FNB? It says you need to have a share builder or share investor account. You can apply online, you can complete a form for them to call you back, or you can call them directly. I'm going to leave the link to this website in my description so you can click on it and come and check it out for yourself. So what does the share investing account or share builder account offer you? The best way to invest easily and safely in Krugerrands, it says safe custody of your Krugerrands through Rand Refinery Limited until you wish to sell them or take personal position. Okay, so if you invest in Krugerrands via FNB, they are kept in safe custody by this company called Rand Refinery Limited. Guaranteed buyback on your coins if you choose to keep them in safe custody at Rand Refinery. Integrated with FNB online banking and also available on the FNB banking app. What this allows you to do, you will be able to invest in the full range of Krugerrands through FNB share investing. So you'll be able to buy one ounce. One ounce is about 30 grams. I've already said that. Half an ounce, a quarter of an ounce, and a tenth of an ounce of gold. Update your market knowledge and track the gold price with our comprehensive share and gold market information. And what you get, you get a great investment in real gold. Peace of mind that your Kruger Rands will be kept in safe custody with Rand Refinery. Full online function functionality to buy, sell and keep track of your Kruger Rand investment, account fees for South African citizens. If you hold a share builder account, the account fee is 19 Rand per month. If you hold a share investor account, the account fee is 49 Rand a month. Account fees for non-SA residents and immigrants. If you hold a share investor account, the account fee is 75 Rand per month. Then it says price of Kruger Rands depends on the size of coin that you purchase. Each coin is quoted at a price provided by Rand Merchant Bank and is dependent on the Rand dollar exchange rate and the gold price at that moment. No trading fees apply. The custody fee, so you pay fees for safekeeping, right? It's 0.86% per annum for safe custody at Rand Refinery Limited. This is based on the value of your coin holdings and is calculated on a daily basis and charged monthly. Let's look at SA. A bullion. Again, I'm going to leave this link in the description. This is where you can buy your Krugerrands as well. I wanted to show you this so that you see what the Krugerrands actually look like. So this is a one-tenth ounce 
Kruger Rand. The price at the moment is 3.7 thousand Rand. Then you've got a quarter ounce bullion, which is 9.1 thousand Rand. Half an ounce Kruger Rand is 17,900. Then one ounce bullion Kruger Rand is 32,000. You can actually buy a set of 10 one ounce bullion. You can buy a set of 25, a set of 50, a set of 100. There are also gold bars and silver as well. So come to these websites, read up for yourself. There's much, much more information that you can go through yourself at your own time. Some problems with physical gold are that the storage and insurance costs can be quite high and affect your profits. If you keep physical gold in your house, there is a risk of it getting stolen, right? Another thing is that the price of gold is quoted in US dollars and each time the dollar rand exchange moves, it affects the value of your gold. Another problem with gold is that it doesn't pay interest or dividends. You just buy it and hope to sell it later for a higher price, but while you own it, it doesn't pay you anything. The second way of investing in physical gold is by buying the Kruger Rand Custodial Certificate. The Kruger Rand Custodial Certificate is an ETF that allows investors to invest in Kruger Rands without the issues involved in storing physical gold. This ETF is sold on the stock market, but it is different from normal ETFs because it only invests in gold. That's why it is not allowed in your TFSA, your tax-free savings account. Okay, so let's look for the Kruger Rand Custodial Certificate on Easy Equities. I've just logged into my Easy Equities account. You're going to find the Kruger Rand Custodial Certificate in your ZAR account not in your TFSA. So you click on ZAR, then select invest now, then pick where it says select investment type, select ETFs because it is an ETF. Then I'm going to search, just type KR, then you'll see Kruger Rand Custodial. Click on that. Here it is. Let's see how it's done over this year. Okay, 7.28%. Since 2017, it has gone up by 79%. So this is the price of one ounce of Kruger Rand. Remember, I showed you just now on the SA Bullion website. So the price is similar to what we saw there. About Kruger Rand Custodial Certificate, it says Kruger Rand Custodial Certificates are listed on the ETF sector of the JSE. The certificates are physically redeemable, convey direct ownership of a one ounce Kruger Rand coin and are linked to the South African Rand price of gold. I also found this research by Easy Equities. I'm going to leave this link in the description so that you can come learn more about the history, how it started, etc. So basically how it works, it says the fund, which is the Kruger Rand Custodial Certificate, provides a way to own Kruger Rands, but without the hassle and security risk of the physical coins. Each ETF instrument represents a certificate for one full ounce Kruger Rand. A custodian holds them on your behalf. The certificates are then tradable on the stock market. So in effect, the ETF allows for your Kruger Rands to be traded in a visible public market. Pros and cons. The main advantage for the custodial certificate is safe storage of your gold coin investment and the absence of annual management fees. However, the high price of each custodial certificate is an impediment to common retail investors. Risk. Its biggest risk is the lack of diversification because all assets are in gold and therefore subject to the vagaries of investor sentiment towards the precious metal. Basically, it's saying it's exposed to the movement of gold prices. Fees. The fund does not charge annual management fees. However, it charges a creation fee of up to 15 basis points, which is 0.15% on all new issues of Kruger Rand custodial certificates and a redemption fee of up to 15 basis points, which is 0.15%. First Rand undertakes to pay the custody fee to the custodian. Then it says alternatives. Its closest peers are the APSA New Gold ETF and Standard Bank Africa Gold ETF, both of which hold physical gold rather than Kruger Rands. 
I'm going to leave this for you to read in your own spare time. The second way of investing in gold is by investing in gold company shares on the stock market. When you buy gold shares, you buy shares of a company that actually mines gold. How you would benefit from investing in gold mining shares would be capital growth, where the value of your shares increases, as well as receiving dividend payments. But changes in gold price affect the profitability of gold mining companies, and that in turn will affect share prices. So if you choose to invest in gold mining shares, you need to understand the gold price because it moves in cycles. In general, when things are normal and peaceful and people are feeling confident about the economy, the price of gold is usually low. But when people are fearful or uncertain because of COVID, wars, inflation, recessions, the stock market's crash, the price of gold usually starts to rise. When gold prices are rising, gold mining companies sell their gold at higher prices and they generate lots of profit. And generally, those extra profits can be paid out as dividends. But there can be long periods of time where gold prices fall and gold mining companies don't make as much money. They can even run at a loss and may cut their dividends. So if you choose to invest in gold mining shares, be prepared for those cycles. The third way of investing in gold is by investing in gold ETFs. Gold ETFs follow the price of physical gold. One example of a gold ETF is the APSA New Gold ETF that is listed on the JSE and follows the RAND price of gold. Note that gold ETFs do not pay dividends. They just offer investors the opportunity to make money when the price of gold goes up. Again, you can't buy gold or any other type of commodity ETFs in your TFSA your tax-free savings account. Next, we have gold ETFs. Again, you're not going to find them under your TFSA. You're going to find them in your ZAR. So you click invest now. Then where it says select investment type, select ETFs. I'm just going to type gold. So currently there are two gold ETFs. There's the One Invest Gold ETF as well as the APSA New Gold ETF. So let's look at the APSA New Gold ETF. Okay, the price 290, let's see, performance since 2014, 120, one year. Okay, about new gold ETF, let's see. This ETF is the simplest method for investors to gain cost-efficient exposure to the price of physical gold. New gold continuously tracks the gold spot price and enables investors to purchase a listed instrument in which each security is equivalent to approximately one hundredth ounces of gold. The debenture is fully backed by holdings of gold bullion with the new gold custodian ICBC Standard Bank and is the first product in South Africa through which institutional and retail investors can securely invest directly in gold bullion. Finally, if you want to invest in gold mining companies inside your tax-free savings account, your TFSA, the best option is to invest in an ETF like the Satrix Resi, which is a basket of different shares of mining companies. Lastly, let's look at the Satrix Resi ETF, which you can buy in your TFSA. So click on TFSA and type here Satrix Resi. Satrix Resi. Here it is, Resi 10. Click on that. Satrix Resi provides investors with the price performance of the FTSE JSE capped resources 10 index and pays all the dividends received from companies in the index to investors on a quarterly basis. Okay, so it's just telling us about the dividend distribution of that. Let's look at the fact sheet of what Satrix Resi is all about. So it says the mandate of Satrix Resi is to track as closely as possible the value of that index so basically, this is a resources ETF. The companies in this ETF are mining companies. So here are the top 10 holdings. Anglo-American, BHP Group, Sasol, Impala, Sibanya Stillwater, Goldfields, Anglo Gold Ashanti, Anglo-American Platinum, Glencore, Northern Platinum Holdings. So these are mining companies. Most of them mine several different minerals and you will get a few that only mine gold. So this is the best way to invest into gold companies 
companies under your TFSA if that's what you want. Total expense ratio 0.44%. Distribution quarterly, meaning the dividend is paid every quarter. Dividend yield at the moment is 5.83%. Not bad. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you found it informative and useful. If you have any comments or questions about this topic, you can type them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Also, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.